COVID-19. Will Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine work on the new UK strain? The new UK strain of the COVID-19 virus is shaking the world because it can increase transmissibility by up to 70%. It can quickly spread the disease in communities. Even though it isn't linked to severe COVID-19, it might cripple the healthcare system that hasn't fully recovered since the pandemic began. The world is hoping that current COVID-19 vaccines are enough to control the strain. So far, two vaccines have received conditional approval. In the U.S., both Moderna's and Pfizer's vaccines receive emergency use authorization. In the U.K., Pfizer's vaccine is the first to be approved while Moderna awaits the decision. The AstraZeneca-Oxford vaccine is next on the table for review. Experts are now testing both approved vaccines against the new coronavirus variant. Doing so will shed light on the vaccine's effectiveness against mutations. Ugor Sahin, CEO at BioNTech, said, We don't know at the moment if our vaccine is also able to provide protection against this new variant. According to The Guardian, the UK strain was identified with nine mutations, higher than the usual one. But the proteins of this new strain were 99% similar to current COVID-19 virus strains. So, BioNTech is scientifically confident in its vaccine. Sahin said that there is no reason to be concerned or worried. And in the event the vaccine needs some adjustments, they can do it in six weeks. But is there something to worry about this new strain? The main concern is the strain's ability to spread faster than its predecessor. Realistically, it has a higher chance of reaching people vulnerable to COVID-19. If children and teens are spreaders, as suggested by some studies, they can unknowingly open doors for the new strain. The healthcare system is likely the most impacted sector if the strain spread like wildfire. Another possible concern is the other variant in South Africa. According to the Telegraph, the South Africa strain can also transmit COVID-19 better than the original. Known as 501.V2, it's been driving the second wave in the country, accounting for 80% to 90% of new cases. This variant evolved separately from the UK variant, and if these two strains meet, no one is certain of what may happen. Sahin further commented that the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is highly likely to work against the new UK strain. The two companies are now testing the vaccine to know whether the strain can adapt. The results will be available in two weeks.